how's the shoulder? Yeah, it's, it's coming along. Um, obviously, had scans and things done, so it's all cleared structure, which is a really positive thing. So now it's just about managing the pain and looking forward to getting stuck into this weekend. Yeah, yeah. and um, after last weekend, disappointing weekend, um, a washout and a, a loss on the last ball, where do you think the season's sitting? Yeah, it's sort of an interesting one. I think you've got to remember that we've only played three games out of 14, so there's still a long way to go on the season. But as you say, it was a little bit of a frustrating uh, weekend last weekend with the, the loss on the last ball and then the no result with the rain. Um, but that's cricket and you have to go with it. It makes each game even more important coming up. So, yeah, look, we're really looking forward to this weekend down in Hobart and taking on the Thunder, but we know that we've got to make sure that every win we get is really valuable. Mm. Where's the Thunder kind of sitting in your eyes? Oh, look, I think they're... Um, they're always a really quality side. They've got depth throughout their lineup. I think Alex Blackwell leading the side um, has great experience. And then their internationals that they've got, as we've seen on a number of occasions, Hamprit Kaur has been pretty destructive over the last you know, 12, 18 months. So she can take a game away from anyone. So they've got a number of players, you know, I have to probably mention New Zealander, Rachel Priest as well. It'll be nice to come up against her, but hopefully we can keep her quiet. So look, we, we know that they've got lots of threats, but we know if we can execute our plans that, that we should be able to deal with them. What are some of those plans? What do you think you're going to have to do? Oh, I think, especially to their batters, we've got to be how we can get them out. I think sometimes in T20 cricket you can get caught up um, trying to be pretty defensive and stop them scoring, which is also an option, but I think you've always got to try and get batters out. That seems to stunt momentum, so that's something that we're really focusing on about how we can get their batters out. Mm. Uh, how do you think your season's going so far? I know it's only three games in, but... What are you thinking of your game? Yeah, well, reasonably happy. I think any time I can help contribute to the team's win is, is always good. And I think for me and Susie, especially at the top of the batting order, if we can set the standard um, and I guess lay the platform for the rest of the girls to come in like we did in that first game, I think that was sort of the ideal blueprint for how we want to go about our batting innings. And then with the ball, probably haven't had heaps of opportunity, but we've got such a great bowling lineup. It's oh, I'm not too fussed by that. I think when you've got Megan Shook, you know, Talia McGrath has been fantastic with the ball. So for us, it's just about everyone doing their jobs, whatever that looks like. Mm. And uh, what about Danny Hazel? How's she looking for this weekend? Did yeah. Say yeah, yeah. No, she should be all good for that. I think she's. Typical POM, um, you know, went down like she got shot in the leg and then she's made a miraculous recovery. So, no, she's, um, she's done everything she needs to do to make sure that she's fit and ready for, for this weekend's game. And, you know, she's a, a true professional, so she's really looking forward to getting back out in the park.